You know, when I watch a film for the first time, even if I know I'm going to do a review of it, I try not to get caught up in all the minor mistakes that the film makes, like some critics do. I try to focus more on the big picture. My suspension of disbelief is not easily broken by some little arbitrary things in the film that don't add up. But my god, this movie broke it. This movie broke it. Hard. For those who don't know, Big Hero 6 is a Disney CG animated film from last year about six teenagers who form a team and it's it's not, though, is it really? It's about Hiro and his big robot friend Baymax. The other four don't matter a single bit. It's almost like they're there literally just for the sake of showing off all the cool powers their suits have. They're not even in the trailer, like, at all. If you're gonna call your movie Big Hero 6, have it about all six people on the team. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I was really excited to see this film. Like, a, an anime-style Disney movie based off a Marvel comic book? Yes! Sign me up! Take all my money! Maybe I just went in with my expectations held a bit too high, but yeah, this was kind of disappointing. And it's a shame as well, because a lot of work clearly went into it, and there are aspects of the film that I really like. Like I said, a lot of the characters only seem to be in the film either because they were in the comic book or just to show off their individual powers. But with that said, the way the individual powers are animated is pretty damn impressive. The only problem I have with the animation doesn't even really come from the animation itself. It comes from how obvious it is that some of it is just in the film to show off how good the animation is. Some of it is actually implemented really well. Some of it, eh, not so much. There's a pretty drawn out flying scene in the film and while I was watching it, I was impressed by the visuals, but I also couldn't help but think of how that time could have been spent developing the other four characters. The cast of voice actors was also pretty good. For as little development as most of the characters got, their given voices suited them pretty much to a T. So yeah, no problem there. The thing that just really brings this movie down is the script. Like I said before, I try not to let too many little problems ruin a film for me, but Big Hero 6 is just filled to the brim with them. I'm not going to point them all out here because this would just end up turning into a CinemaSins video, and if you can watch this movie without noticing any of these, more power to you. I wish I could have done that. I'll just cover one of the more obvious ones here, Baymax, while a really cool concept is just a really inconsistent character. Obviously, since this is a story about a boy who befriends a robot, you're going to have a point in the film where the robot becomes more human. But what makes these kind of stories so interesting is the progression of the robot learning and developing new human behavior. It's not interesting if you have the robot completely stoic at one point and then have all the emotions that a human has the next. That's boring and it doesn't make sense. My consensus on Big Hero 6 is that if you can just go into this movie with your brain turned off completely and just not think about it critically at all, then yes, you can still enjoy this movie if you like superheroes and comic books and all that. And despite all the bad things I had to say about it, I'm probably going to go and see it again sometime pretty soon. But as always guys, my name is Caleb Lawler. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment below if there are any films you want me to review in the future, and I'll see you in a few days.